Hello and welcome. Today I will show you different way to integrate machine learning model into your JavaScript application without necessarily having to master how the model is made or understand the mechanism behind the model. So as machine learning is becoming more and more popular, maybe you have found a model online that you want to integrate in your application and you don't know a lot about Python, this video is meant for you. But also if you know how to design neural networks and you want to do it on your computer, like you are for a risk, that video is also designed for you. I'll show you how to do it using TensorFlow.js. So let's get started. We actually have two ways of doing that. The first is uh, the easiest one. I will show it to you in this code that you're seeing right here. It is um, a way to just integrate the model that are actually given by TensorFlow. They are pre-trained model and they are actually good. You can just uh, integrate it in your application and use without having to train or download a model or transform a model. And for that, I will put this link, this link here in the description and you will be able to see all the models that TensorFlow provide for free and integrate it and play with it in your application. For example, uh, this image classification is the one I'm using in this code here called Mobinet. Um, so I just put the link to the model, to the um, yeah, link to the TensorFlow model here. And in the code, as you can see, I just get the image here. This image, this model is used for image classification. And uh, when the model is loaded, I just classify the image and I print the prediction. And you can see um, the result here. Let's go to index two. Yeah, and in this console here, you can see it's, a, it's an Egyptian card. I don't really know which kind of card is this one, but anyway, it's a tiger card or a TV, TV card with some probability. So you can just maybe pick the high guess and print it as the output of your model. So this is one of the model that you can use and you can use every model that you are seeing on this page. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, the second way is actually more interesting because you can just download any Rust model that you find online, transform it in a model that, in a format that TensorFlow can understand and integrate it in your application. And um, to do that, you actually have to find this model online. And, and um, the easiest way can go um, to maybe Hunting Face or a lot of other places like here, for example, you can find a lot of uh, model procrain model from Kerast and uh, download one of this model and actually transform this model to a format that TensorFlow VS can understand. And to do that, uh, you just have to install a module, a Python module called TensorFlow VS. Yeah, by typing pip install TensorFlow VS. I think I have it in my computer, so it will not download again. Yeah. Um, so the site, good. And um, when you're done installing the Python package, you go to the directory where you have downloaded the model. In our case, it's actually the model directory here. You go to model, and we just type and soft through GS converter, and we put the input format. It's Keras. And uh, we specify the file, uh, I think it's ResNet here, the model that we have downloaded, and we also specify the folder where all the artifacts of the model will be saved. So in this case, just call it model folder. And this will kind of completely transform the model in the format that TensorFlow just can understand. As you can see here, we have a lot of artifacts. Yes, and this is the most important file that you will have to import in your folder in your front end to use this model, the, the download model here. But you have a second way of doing that. Maybe you have your model that you train yourself and um, you just want to save this model instead of saving it in a H5 format, you have to save it in a specific format so that the front end can understand. I would just show it to you here. I didn't really build a neural network here. This, this is a downloaded neural network from this side here. Mm, it's this model actually. And uh, this model, I will just import the TensorFlow GS that we have installed previously. I will just import it and save the model like this using converter.save the rest model and specify the folder. As you can see, if I type this, um, it will save it in this folder called model.gs here. It's actually the same thing because it's the same model. 
Um, it's kind of the same thing, yeah, because if it is actually the same model. And you are good to go and you are able now to import this file in your front-end application. And the way you do that is actually by, you know, you have different way. You can just import the CDN of the TensorFlow module in your front-end and import it via this um, CDN link or install it using Node.js if you want to be working with UR React or Next.js and in that case you will have to install the NPM module but in our case we just use the TensorFlow and CDN link and import the TensorFlow module by, that, by just importing this CDN module here so and when we are done doing that we just use this line this line is actually um, the this function this actually the function that will help you to load the model the model that you have downloaded in our case here, it's in model.js folder, so we just have to specify it here, model.js folder, and then model.json. This model.json is actually this file here. That's kind of contain the of information about the model that we have transformed. And uh, as it is actually the same thing predicting um, the classifying images. So in this case, we just this this part is actually just treating the data that will be passed to this model um so we get the image from this image stack here and uh we change the size the, the dimension of the image because um the model get a different format than the file that we get from the, the browser directly so we just have to extend to ex expand the dimension of the image and pass it to the model here and this model will predict something that we can use as um, base or tool. Let's call this index. You will see it with this kind of uh, an object here, a prediction object. But you have to um, um, pass the subject depending on the output that you get from the real model to know exactly which output uh, represent which item. But anyway, in any case, it's actually the same way. We get the data or the output that was specified in your original model or that the documentation of your original model is specifying. So this was the second way of using it. And the last and third way is the way that I don't personally really recommend. It is creating the model and importing everything, training everything, defining layers and all in your G JavaScript file and training the model in the browser. Okay, so uh, the browser is not really a good resource for model training, but anyway, if you want to do it, you can do it this way by just, it's kind of simple. You get the model instance here from the TFS sequential and you just transfer the model that you could build with Keras and Python in model in your JavaScript file by specifying actually the same uh, parameters. And uh, yeah, the same thing here. You just transfer your model and then you can use the fit method at the bottom here when you would have the data, of course. You can use the fit method to train the model. And when the model is trained, you can just directly using it without having to save or to pass or whatever. The model is ready to be used and you can use it right here. So let me show you an example of that in this um, the group inside here. Um, I will give you the Google um, code lab showing step by step how to reproduce this code and train this model on your browser. But if you see here, for example, if I try to run that, it will just um, kind of freeze my computer. You can see it right now because my computer is not the right resource. My browser is not the right resource for um, training this model. But when it's done, you can actually see this model is trained and is able to predict those um, numbers depending on the image. So the image that we give here, for example. So, um this is not really something that you will have to tell about a bunch of javascript code but it's not important the most important part is actually this part here where you can specify design your model train your model um specify the optimizer and everything and then use the model to predict something so that was a video about how to integrate a machine learning model in your front end easily i hope you will be able to integrate um, your model in your next JavaScript application. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.